guitar. Nah, I have no, no, nothing outrageous right now. <laughs> Just glad to be back home. Uh, how are you feeling right now? I mean, it looks like you've been really comfortable on the floor the last few games you've played. Is that comfort level with, with your knee, with your health, and being out on the floor starting to come on? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I'm more comfortable. I got more confidence uh, in my knee and in my game improving. But I'm just trying to get better, man. You know, I still got to work. Still got to put my work in. And, uh, you know, just live with the results when I put my work in. You know, don't get down on myself. Because, you know, it might be some games where I'm, I don't play the best, but it might be some games where I'm playing great. So I just got to stay consistent and uh, try to keep improving. Is it more than just the health of last year? You probably didn't have the time to, to get fully acclimated to the new team. And, uh, it seems like now you're starting to find more uh, of a comfort level in terms of where your fit is, where your shots are coming from. Does that have something to do with the, too, just the experience of being out there now with these guys? Yeah, for sure. Um, it, it, it's a tangible of a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? With, um, you know, guys trusting you, you know, knowing where you're going to be at. Like Kyle, he knows I'm going to be in the corner when he drives. DeMar knows I'm going to be right there at the nipple. So it, it's things that, you know, guys just trusting and understanding, playing with guys, trying to gel together. And I think that's what we're doing now. We, we're kind of gelling, and they're understanding where I'm going to be at, where I'm, where, where I'm going to get my shots set defensively, where I need help at or where they need help at. So we're just trying to grow, man. You know, it's only like, what, 15 games in the season. We still got a lot of room for improvement. Your time in the league. Played in a stretch of schedule as tough as this one. <laughs> nah, this is a very tough schedule, and I think we sustained it. We did a really good job, but now we just got to keep up the work. You know, we got we got six games at home. We got to try to win all six. Uh, you know, you want to take care of home before you go out on the road. But uh, I think it's been a tough schedule, and you know, it's, hopefully on the back end it'll be more easier. But at the same time, we got to take every game. We got to approach every game the same. One of the TV interviews recently, you said you had to trust the process of uh, your recovery. Yep. You're playing Philly tomorrow. They also trust the process. Oh yeah, you got you got to in the NBA. As a as a player, as an athlete, you have to trust the process. Um, you got to trust the system. You know, trust the life decisions, however you want to. But you have to trust all these things and believe that everybody has the same uh, mindset you have and got the same success, want the same success for yourself that you have. So uh, I feel like that's what I'm doing, man. I'm just trusting. I believe in these guys. I believe in Masai, coach, uh, training staff, that they're not going to do me any harm. you got to be careful. I think Embiid uh, trademarked the process. It's become a thing. Trust the phrase, trust, trust the like process, has become a thing in Philadelphia. I think he actually trademarked it. <laughs> he trademarked trust the process? Like he's, he's, the, the, pro process. he's the process. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh. Let's, let's play this off camera. Yeah, yeah, I didn't do well. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I say trust the game then. Trust the game. You know?